Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host Lovely Cheese Pizza here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Pokemon Blue, where we are still trying to ascend to the top of this building so that we can uh, take down the man, Mr. Giovanni, for no other reason more so than we must. <laughs> I get it now. You have to see it to understand it. Because he must. <laughs> wow! I'm scared! I mean, it is Halloween time after all. Plus, if you were to actually take a real look at what like the top 100 songs are in this country right now, it would be the most infuriating pile of shit you ever seen. I actually, I was on Spotify the other day. Welcome to the 10F. So good of you to join me as I guard these two balls here that have important things in them. But I went on, I was on Spotify the the other night. I don't remember what night it was, but it was the other night. And I decided to just, just for the sake of doing it, I don't even know why I even bothered, but I decided to look and see what the t what the top, um, it was what the top, like, 100 songs were. And I came across this one song, and I listened to seriously, like, four seconds of it, and I had to turn it off because I couldn't take it anymore. It's a song by, if you could believe it, a guy named Lil Yachty. And what was the other guy's name? I think his name was like, like Dram. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It was, and it's like an acronym for something. It's D period R period A period M, which God could even imagine what that's even supposed to stand for. I don't even want to know. And the name of this song was called Broccoli. A song called Broccoli. And it may or may not be the worst piece of shit song that I've ever heard in my life. I it. It, it was it was so bad like my immediate thought was a I don't understand a word of what's being said in this song right now and that's really upsetting to me <laughs> that a song that is somehow in a top list anywhere you can't understand any of it I forgot what Carbos is good for is that for speed I think that's for speed which if that's the case we should give some speed stuff to yeah we'll give it to to rat again Alright again, boom, 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 all the rare candy! <laughs> oh boy, we're gonna give that to Tabanero as soon as he gets to where he needs to be. What is TM26, by the way? I forget. It is. Ooh, it's Earthquake! Oh, okay. Alright, Kimbo Slice can learn the Earthquake. That is good. I'm super down with Earthquake. Uh, let's see what we can give him. Where? Oh, yeah, definitely saying goodbye to Poison Sting. If I gotta roll with the Earthquake, I'm rolling with the Earthquake. Oh, oh, oh times are good. And the, the beer is strong, I suppose. But yeah, I'm, I, I can't even, like, recall any of the lyrics to tell you, but if you are bold enough to, or insane enough, to go and attempt to listen to any songs from that, and make it through like longer than than 20 seconds I commend you so much Holt do you have an appointment with my boss yes uh, 330 appointment actually um, I'm just just coming in to check in no big deal but oh my god it's so bad and it's like I don't know what this weird ass stage of rap music if you could even call it that but it's like this weird like Jamaican like reggae rap is, is really what I equate it to more than anything else. It just, it sounds so stupid. It's, it's like this really slow, kinda, just fucking, like the only way I can quantify it if I could is, I'll, I'll try to replicate it as best I can, which prepare for this shit. I'm not gonna say any words, but they all have like the same structure. They do like this, it's just like this, it's like that, and it's just over and over again, and it's like these really cheap ass, like, third grader rhymes that are so fucking terrible that they just make you want to pull your eyes out and yet it's popular. I don't understand how that part of it is. It just drives me crazy. <laughs> and like that's what that song is like. It's just like the same and ooh, that's not really what I meant to do but I mean it's fine I guess. But, yeah, I, like, I heard that, and I seriously, like, the entire, like, 20 or 25 seconds that I actually listened to it, 
like trying to understand what any of the words were. I couldn't. I truthfully could not. It was just, it was that hard to get a grasp of. It was, oh, Jesus. It was just the worst. We might as well just leave them out here. I mean, if we're going to get a bunch of Rattatas that are well below our standard, might as well go with it. So, yeah, that's what that is. I mean, fe feel, feel very concerned about the current state of music in this, uh, in this world we live in, ladies and gentlemen, because I don't think it's going to get a lot better from here. <laughs> I'm, I'm calling it like I see it. It's, it's looking pretty... So, uh, I mean, if there's anything I'm really happy about, two things. Um, two things. A, I actually, I actually got to play Pokemon Puzzle League for the Nintendo 64 for the very first time last night. I've always wanted to do that, but I could never find a copy of it anywhere. And so, for me to have actually been able to find it was super cool. Uh, I got to play it at, at, uh, at Elijah's house last night. I went over there. There is nothing here. Why would he be there? <laughs> What's the point? He's like, hey, do you have a meeting with my boss? I mean, even if you do, I'm totally not going to let you go talk to him because, well, I mean, yeah. Okay, so now we actually have to put these these floor things to use, which is really what I was trying to avoid. Um, let's go back down to the ninth floor and heal up. We're going to need to do that. That'll be of high importance for the remainder of this. Let's go rest up. Actually, you know what? Let's rest up and just take this door, because I'm sure that's going to at least take us to either Giovanni or Gary. It's one of the two of them. Um, also, let's use that rare candy while we have the opportunity, before I forget about it for some reason. Alright, so he's level 35. He's going to learn, yeah, the flamethrower. The Dairy Queen branded flamethrower. Which are actually fairly good burgers, I must say. Let's, uh, let's get rid of the Confuse Ray. I know that it's a cool thing and whatever, but I'd much rather have a bomb-ass fire move instead of a move that works sometimes. So let's do that. Um, but yeah, so I got to play that game last night. It's actually really cool. It kind of reminds me of, uh, it's like, I think it's Tetris Attack for the Super Nintendo. It's like, you're just, you're swapping two tiles at a time. And, uh, it's, I don't know, it's, it's kind of a nifty little thing. Let's put Neo at the one slot now. Now that he's actually got a move that's better, I, I feel okay about letting him uh, start anchoring stuff. But yeah, it's cool. So like we were playing it, and, uh, and I was just like watching him play for a while. And uh, we got to a point like later in the game where it started getting really hard, where we were fighting against, or like we were playing against the Elite Four in the game. And uh, let's go with uh, a Leech Seed at the very least. Actually. Yep, I forgot about that. I always forget about that. That's not a good idea. Yeah, let's definitely get him out of there. Let's go instead with, uh, with Drain. So yeah, we were playing against it, and we, we got to Bruno, who I think is actually the hardest dude in the game to play against, because he just, like, he goes inhumanly fast. It's ridiculous. I don't even, like, I don't even understand it. Like, it, with almost all of the other characters in the game, they play at a rate that at least seems feasible, but I was, like, watching... I was watching just the computer going, and I'm just like, what the... Like, how are you supposed to even do anything about that? And, uh, and we're playing, and we lost. Uh, like, Lige lost, like, 11 times in a row. And so I was... And I had never played it before. I was like, all right, man, I'll definitely... I'll take a crack at it. It was, like, 2.30 in the morning, and I was, like, exhausted. And I actually, I couldn't even see out of my right eye, because I got a bunch of pet dander in it. He had a couple of dogs at his house. And, uh, and I got to that point where, like, when you get stuff in your eye, and so you start rubbing your eye, and it feels really, really good. But then you, you get to that, you get to that one point where, like, it doesn't feel good anymore, and it just, like, automatically starts hurting really bad instead. I got to that point, and, like, I got done with it, and my eye was like basically swollen shut. Like it was, it was watering really bad, and it hurt to the touch, and and it was just, oh, it was like so like irritated and whatnot. And I just, oh, it was so bad. But I was, and so I'm like with one eye open. And I was like, all right, man, I'll take a crack at it. I've never played this game before, so it's probably gonna be just a total disaster. And he's like, all right, man, I'll let you, I'll let you do it. And so, um, let's. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send Neo out there. I don't know if this is gonna work very well, but I'm gonna send him out there. And so I'm sitting here trying to play this with one eye open, and uh, 
and I, I was just losing left and right, but on my, I think it was like my 7th or 8th try, I totally beat it! And he was so mad! <laughs> like, he was really excited that I, that I beat it, but he was so pissed off that a guy who had never played the game before <laughs> beat it in less tries than he did. <laughs> oh, it was great. I got a great laugh out of that. <laughs> Team Rocket said that if I helped them, they'd let me study Pokemon. Well, you probably shouldn't listen to dudes like that. I mean, they're gonna cut deals with you that are probably really not even good deals in the first place. Hey, here we are. God, I wasn't expecting that so quickly. <laughs> what kept you? Uh, quite a few things, actually. <laughs> I thought you'd turn up if I waited here. I guess Team Rocket slowed you down. Not that I care. I saw you in Saffron, so I decided to see if you got any better. Well, guess what? I sure did. I'm gonna kick your ass so hard. It's gonna be great. Oh, he's already got a Pidgeot now. 37? Oh boy. <laughs> this could be a problem. Uh, I mean, he's definitely got the uh, he's got the the advantage here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna make him pay for it. I'm gonna build the wall and I'm gonna make him pay for it. Let's give him the goods. Two sand attacks. That's great. Oh, good. Yeah. No, that's great. Yeah, that's just what I wanted. So yeah, it was. Uh... Oh, come on. More more sand. This is great. Ah, there we go. I got one on him. <laughs> Dude, Pidgeot's uh, Pidgeot's little uh, little animation here. It's so creepy looking. He's just like fully dialed and he's like, I'm gonna fucking kill you! <laughs> he's just like already in motion to go like peck my eyes out and, and like feed him to his children or whatever. It's it's actually terrifying. Oh boy. He's gonna send out that execute and I'm gonna burn him to a crisp. Yes. So happy that I get to use this right now. Alright, let's see how that flamethrower is in action. Yeah! Oh, almost took him out in one shot. Re hey, reflect all you want, man. I, you got nothing. You got nothing on the ember. Yeah! Oh, it's great. Look at how this is going. A Gyarados, huh? Alright. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna mess with the bull, huh? Well, here come the horns. I don't know what that means, because Pikachu totally does not have horns, but he does now. I'm giving you the bolt. Um, but yeah, so like, it came after that, like, after that point, I, I was like, man, I need to go home right now. Like, I'm still feeling like I'm coming down with something, and, uh, and I just, I just need to go home. Like, I need to, I need to get some sleep. The, the last thing that I, that I want at this point is to, like, get full-blown sick, because I can't afford that. And so I was like, alright, man, I'm gonna go home, and, and like, the entire part of me, ooh, let's try that earthquake out, see if it works. If that doesn't kill us. Oh my god. Come on. Let this totally kill him. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh my god, that was awesome. That was the greatest. And now he's got Charizard, which we're gonna let that one be in the fine hands of Drain. What? What? <laughs> He's just got like that weird look on his face, like, why, why am I out here? I don't understand. Oh, oh boy. Oh, you done fucked up, buddy. Yes. Oh, okay, maybe not. How about the ice beam? Oh. All right, he wins that round. You may have won the battle, little dude, but I've still got plenty I can hit you with. Because you're also flying, so that means one of these will will promptly destroy you if I'm still alive to try it. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> oh boy. That makes me happy inside. Gary's probably just sitting there like, God damn it! Just nothing! Oh! So you are ready for Boss Rocket! I am, actually. I'm, I'm very ready. Well, I'm moving on up and ahead! By checking my Pokedex, I'm starting to see what's strong and how they evolve. Uh, oh, God, that was gross. I'm going to the Pokemon League to boot out the Elite Four. I'll become the world's most powerful trainer. Well, good luck to you. Don't sweat it. Smell ya. That's actually probably the most tame thing that he's really ever said. Like, he actually sounded like a regular person with ambition. Oh, hi, you're not a rocket. You came to save us? Why, thank you. I want you to have this Pokemon for saving us. 
Oh, sick! We got Lapras! Oh, tight. I mean, I totally have... I've got my Vaporeon, so I totally want to roll with him, but... What am I going to name Lapras? Let's, um... Uh, you know what? I totally called my mom this today for some reason. I don't know why, but... I totally called my mom Slurm, so we're gonna go with Slurm. <laughs> I don't... I don't know. It's Lapras. It's very intelligent. We keep it in our lab, but it will be much better off with you. I think you'll be a good trainer for Lapras. Okay, okay alright. Alright, thanks a lot, man. Okay, so what we need to do right now is we need to use a revive here. But yeah, so like when it came... when it came to like me needing to leave to go home, I started getting like... I started getting that kind of... Uh, like paranoia in the back of my head where people are like, oh man, if you were to like lose your eyesight, driving would be so hard to do because like your depth perception just goes out the shitter. And I'm like, oh god, like I can't see out of this eye. Like it hurts to have it like halfway open. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna have to like try to figure this out, otherwise I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble here. And so I decide that I'm gonna drive just with with one eye open. And, uh, and, like, it's not like it was a super long drive or anything, but I was, like, genuinely kind of freaked out about it. Another one of these guys? And I ended up, I made the drive home, which was awesome, but I got, I got into bed and I was like, dude, it's gonna be so hard for me to sleep if, if I'm in, like, this much pain with this for the rest of the night. And, uh, but I went to bed, you know, went to sleep, I, to the best that I could, at least, and when I woke up this morning, I, like, because my my eye was watering so much, I had, like, so much, like, so many, like, eye crusties and stuff that was in there that I, like, when I tried to open my eye, I could, like, I could actually, like, literally hear my eye trying to open because there was so much stuff that it had to, like, it had to, like, break the veil <laughs> of all the stuff in my eye. It was so nasty. But, and so then I had to, like, try to wipe all that stuff out, and it hurt so bad. Oh, dude, it was... It was, it was disgusting, but... And so I ended up going to work. I forgot who I'm fighting against right now, so we'll just, uh, we'll bring out Drain for it. Oh, just drowsy. Okay, that's fine. Um, and so I went to work, and, like, my eye was still pretty swollen. Like, it, it wasn't as bad as it was before I left Elijah's house. But when I got to work, I had, realistically... Oh, Psychic's such a tight move. I love the sound before it does the wavy lays on the screen. It's super cool. Um, but I got to work, and I had, like, all of these people, I had probably at least, like, ten people today ask me, like, like, are you okay? What happened? And I'm like, what are you talking about? And they're like, well, your eye, like, it's all swollen, and it looks weird. Like, did you get in a fight last night? And I was like, oh, God. Like, no, no. And it's, like, it's such a, it's, like, such a not even cool reason at all. Like, you think about it, like, oh... Well, did you get in a fight and, like, the the answer you'd want to use is like, Oh, yeah, I totally got in a big brawler, you know, I went and fought Apollo Creed last night. <laughs> but instead I'm like, oh, no, I got pet dander in my eye, because that sounds totally badass. I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, I had a I had a really tough uh, brawl last night with some uh, with some crazy pet dander, you know. It was, it was like a crazy, like, 15-round 15 15 round, uh, slobber knocker, but I came out on the other side, you know. And they're just like, oh man, that's so cool! <laughs> like, that's totally not how anybody would ever react to a response like that. So, uh, yeah, kind of embarrassing, but at, at least at least I can see now, like, that's a good sign. It's still really tender, but it's good. So, at least I'm not going blind, that's that's a good thing. I don't have to wear an eye patch like a pirate for the, the next 60 years. So, my friends, we're going to stop right here because when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Pokemon Blue, we're going to open the gate and we're going to go have a chat with Giovanni and then we're going to throw down because uh, we're just going to. And apparently on that desk over there, we've got the houses uh, from Monopoly and the blank squares that you put them on, apparently. Even though I know they're pieces of paper, but that's besides the point, damn it. So until then, this is your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, saying thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.